Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. With Halloween on our doorstep, I thought I need to mend the hell up and share with you guys some of the very personal and very kind of weird experiences that I have had in my life before. In order for you to be able to make sense of the whole story that I'm just about to share with you, you need to know a couple of things about me. My mom and dad got divorced when I was about two years old and my mom had to take me and move back in with my grandparents. We stayed there for a few years, for about six or seven years before my mom eventually got a flat for us and we moved out. And during those years, during my stay with my grandparents, there were quite a few weird things happening there. My grandparents lived in a two-bedroom flat which was located on the fifth floor. My grandmother's bedroom was actually the farthest room in the flat and by that I mean every other room could be accessed via the corridor but in order to get to my grand's bedroom you had to walk um, through the living room. Back in those days I used to sleep in her bed quite a lot. Unfortunately, much to my disappointment, she suffered from insomnia. Very often she would be up around 5 o'clock in the morning and during winter it obviously means it was very, very dark. Sometimes if I could feel her getting out of bed I would jump out and just run after her and I wouldn't be able to sleep in her bedroom at all. I'd rather sleep in the living room but just not in her bedroom. I don't know what it was. I was just too scared to go back to the room. I had terrible nightmares when I stayed over hers. One of them I remember very clearly and very well up to this day. Somehow in that dream I had a very clear sense of time and I knew exactly what season it was. And I dreamt that it was winter. My dad picked me up from school and took me back to my grand's place where I obviously used to live at that point. I remember looking at the clock and it was 6 p.m. Nobody was home and it was extremely dark outside. As I opened the door, the entrance door to the flat in my dream, cat that my grand used to have, who in real life was too scared to leave the flat, actually rushed out of there and ran downstairs after my dad. As I entered the flat and switched the light on in the corridor, some invisible force just pushes me right through the corridor and into the living room and shuts the door behind me. I am left in this dark living room, unable to reach this light switch. I try to open the door but something is still holding it and I'm like trapped in the living room. As I mentioned earlier, I get a very clear sense of time. So half an hour later, while I'm sat in the dark living room, the door to my grand's bedroom just opens and I see this dark figure appear. It had horns, it was quite tall. It was very unclear but it seemed like it was wearing a cape or something like that. And this creature just started speaking with me and it said Oh, how delicious the smell of blood or the smell of flesh is. I don't remember which was the exact version. It was either blood or flesh. I got this kind of information flow, told me that something bad was about to happen and I just jumped awake. You know, sometimes you can just like make yourself, like you tell yourself in your dream that you've got to wake up now and you wake up. I had that dream when I was about eight and I still remember it and it still freaks me out a lot. Maybe that dream was something that actually influenced my fear and worsened my fears of the, you know, of Grant's bedroom. Moving on. When my mom and I moved out, when I was around 8 years old, my gran and her next door neighbor were actually eventually involved in a very, very bad argument. At that point my mom was keeping her money in my gran's flat, so somehow the neighbor got access to that and stole huge sum of money. This is how almost the Third World War broke out. Later it was discovered that that woman who was my grand's next door neighbor was involved in black magic. She kept doing very very weird things to my grand in my grand's flat. My grand kept finding corroded nails, needles, hairpins right in front of her flat. There were sometimes wet marks on the door and right in front of the flat there were like some sort of oil marks, there were weird drawings, so the shit just went down crazy. My grand's health worsened a lot during those times and we just helped her move out and just leave the flat to that crazy woman. At the time of those events, strange things started happening in my grand's flat. Sometimes it is believed that cats and dogs are more susceptible to 
kind of the invisible things or forces or whatever. My grand's cat eventually stopped eating his food in the kitchen where my grand used to keep the food bowl. He would either grab the food and take it out of the kitchen and just eat it on the threshold, right in the corridor, or if he did stay in the kitchen, he would be constantly looking around with the kind of glassy, scared eyes. When that cat passed away, my gran was obviously in grief for a while, but a couple of years later she actually took another cat home. That female cat got pregnant and had kittens under my gran's bed. When the kittens were about two weeks old, obviously they were still blind, they were still at their most vulnerable times. I was sitting in the living room, just chilling, you know, and my cat was walking towards the kittens, towards the grandmother's bedroom. So I picked up the cat and I... it was a very lovely cat, it was very gentle and loving, and I just started stroking her. She sat on my laps for just a couple of minutes, and then she just started staring right in front of her, and there was a closet about a meter or a meter and a half away from me from where we were sitting and then she actually moved her eyes in the direction of the bedroom as if something was walking towards the bedroom and she just started growling because I was already about 13 14 years old I had seen plenty of horror films I knew about demonic possessions and stuff like that I freaked out as I put the cat down she had her clothes out and she just rushed to the kittens because she was so scared she had her clothes out I thought she had literally left um, scratch marks on the floor. I come from a rather religious family. My gran, you know, not so much, but my mom is very religious. So my gran told me about her experience. She said that she had been cleansing a flat once, and by that I mean, you know, walking around the flat, saying prayers and just spraying holy water and just walking around with a cross or something like that. As my gran was finishing up and saying, you know, final prayers right in front of the entrance door with the door actually open, she said something brushed out of the flat and she could actually hear foot, very heavy footsteps uh, kind of running downstairs with the kind of howling sounds. I don't know what it is and I don't even want to go there, but there you go. Hi guys, I'm sorry I got to interrupt my video here, it wasn't planned at all, but as I was editing I realized that it's going to be way beyond 10 minutes and I didn't mean to make it this long, so please stay tuned, there will be another video coming in another couple of days and it's going to contain much weirder shit, so stay tuned!